Hey ghouls, just thought I'd do a quick little video on my thoughts and opinions about the Maisie Willan collaboration. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, so sorry guys. And I also wanted to share with you the uh, Monster High live action. We've got three of the actors dressed as three of the characters, so I wanted to show my opinion on them as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first thing we have of the collaboration are these Monster High earrings, clearly um, inspired by Frankie's original blue skullet earrings. <clears throat> when I first saw them, I thought they were more of a costume piece. Sorry, Mattel, that's just my opinion, as the chain and skelet are plastic and not metal of any kind. I won't be getting these as my ears are quite sensitive to certain metals. Now we move on to the clothes of the collaboration. Now, ghouls, I'm not one for fashion, but I really don't get this look that they've got the model who's playing Claudine in. This isn't something that I think Claudine would wear. The only time she wore red was in the um, Little Dead, uh, where she was playing Little Dead in, in the um, Fairy Tales line. That was actually a cute doll, but oh, I just I just don't get these looks. Nah. Nah, no, no, not for me, I'm afraid. And here we are with the uh, looks again. I see that they, um, they got inspiration from Freshwater Laguna for this model here. Again, I'm not really feeling these looks. Nah, definitely not. I've got to admit, the model playing Dracula here kind of reminds me of Gory Fangtail. So hopefully Gory might make a comeback. That'd be interesting. She never got a doll, so that'd be cool to see her come back and get a doll done. Um, I will admit when I first saw these models, I actually feared. I was actually quite worried. Um, because I thought, oh god, is this what we're gonna see from the live action? But when I saw the live action, I was like, oh my god, thank god we're not getting this because these. These models, God bless them, they're getting paid to, to do a job, and and I'm just glad that the um, live action is nowhere near like what these models are modelling, like with the makeup and the clothes, so yeah. Now, ghouls, we move on to the live action movie, which is coming to Nickelodeon. Now, I don't get the kids' channels anymore, so I shall not be seeing it on Nickelodeon. I hope it'll come out on DVD or be on some other streaming service so I can watch it. Now, already I love the design for the live-action Monster High movie. I love how Frankie is full of confidence. I know a lot of people won't like this as she's quite a shy, nerdy, boy-crazy girl originally. But I understand the tr transition from going from a shy to quite a confident young lady. So I stand with Frankie Stein on this one. And I love Claudine's look. I love Dracula's look. Oh my god. They're just so cool. Let's take a closer look at Miss Stein. Yes. As you can see, she's got quite a confident, smug look on her face. <laughs> Oh, I can support the confidence, but not the smug. Um, I'm not sure why they've given her neon a neon pink earring. Maybe blue would have sort would have suited her colour palette better, and maybe um, black highlights with the white hair, like she had originally, would have been fine. But I think at the moment I can live with this hairstyle. Now let's have a look at Miss Dracula. Yes, she, she she's looking very cool. I, I don't mind the two-toned hair. Um, her beauty mark, I think, was originally pink, but for the live action, they've given her a black beauty mark. Beauty mark is a birth mark. <sighs> don't mind me, girls. I am just an idiot. Um, I want to know what she's looking at. I mean, here she's almost looking quite smug in a way and I wonder why 
because Dracula isn't a smug character. She's actually quite a sweet girl. So, hmm. What are you doing, Miss Dracula? What are you up to? Now for our ghoul, Claudine. I love that she wears glasses. I wear glasses, so I obviously stand for that. Um, I love her textured curly hair. I love her crescent moon top. I would so wear that. Um, the fur jacket is definitely something Claudine would wear. Overall, I think the design of Claudine is definitely 100% her, her style, just completely. I stand by that. And now, girls, at last, Mattel are going to reveal the next generation of Monster High dolls, I guess. They're going to be showing us what we're going to be getting tomorrow. And it's like, what? Because I think there was rumours going around that we might see the dolls mid-year, mid-2022 or something. But no, they're going to be revealed and hopefully come out a lot sooner. Um... I'm disappointed that there's only going to be three of them at the moment. I hope that they're going to bring the other characters out at some point. Please, Lord, please. <laughs> and yeah. So this brings us to an end of another video. Thank you, Ghoul, so much for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to help support my channel. And also, about these dolls, when they are revealed, I'll hope to do another video showing my reaction with you guys. Um, I would like to make a quick disclaimer, though. I do not own these images. I got these images from Instagram, and I will put the links down below in the description box. So, yeah, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.